Thanks for staying with News at Prime tonight. Well, there still seems to be tension between Fedusa and its former chair, or general secretary that is. The Federations of Unions of South Africa tonight saying that its former general secretary, Dennis George, was not cleared of wrongdoing. The union issuing a statement saying the claims are malicious and in breach of an agreement between the two parties. It follows a long-standing battle between George and the union over the acquisition of shares in technology company AO Technology Systems. You'd remember AO has been um, the subject of much investigation then at the PIC. Well, join, George uh, joins me in studio and later will be in conversation with the current producer president, uh, Godfrey Selimazela. But first, Dennis, let me begin with you. Now, of course, um, you've been talking in general to the media about this settlement that was reached between yourselves and uh, Fedusa last week via the CCMA, and you say that you've been cleared of any wrongdoing. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that is the reason why disputes are being referred, you know, to the CCMA. And the CCMA appoints a senior commissioner to, first of all, try to mediate the matter between the two. That is not a court of law. Mm -hmm. It's a dispute resolution structure, which includes conciliation, mediation, and arbitration. And we've gone through the first process of trying to consolidate this particular dispute because the matters that they are saying that I'm guilty of, that is what I flatly deny. Mm -hmm. Okay? But the point is this, you can't do that at the discipline and inquiry of an employer because there the employer appoints the chairperson, the employer, you know, get these, all these people to come and testify against you. So it's your word against their word. And that's the reason why I'm very pleased with the outcome at the CCMA and the fact that FEDUSA have signed an agreement to settle the dispute, you know, and that we also agreed that the terms of the settlement is a confidential, you see. So as far as I'm concerned, that I've been cleared, and if I'm not cleared, FEDUSA can go to the police and go make a case against me because I never use one cent, not one cent of FEDUSA. And secondly, the whole offer that was made to a consortium of black trade unions. They included FEDUSA into that particular proposal and the proposal was listed on the Johannesburg Stock Exchange pre-listing statement. Anybody can just go to the website and draw the statement from there and the amount that they offered for the shares for these trade unions because you must understand trade unions, and I've been 25 years in trade unions, you cannot continuously increase the membership fees for members and then expect members must pay for youth salaries for officials, in my view, it's sometimes not worth their bread. And, 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 and unions need another extra revenue stream, like a dividend from shares and stuff like that, because, you know, everything today around goes around about money. But as far as I'm concerned, that um, the statement that produces issue, you know, it's without foundation. Okay. Uh, let me bring into the conversation then producer president uh, Godfrey Selimatela. Godfrey, thank you so much for uh, your time tonight. Now, you've issued the statement in haste and you've said that uh, certainly the signing of the settlement, as far as you understand it, is in no way clearing Dennis George of any wrongdoing in the process of acquiring uh, those shares via AO Technologies. Good evening, and good evening to your listeners. Uh, Ma'am, that is correct. We are saying that uh, our former general secretary, <coughs> Comrade Dennis George, has not been cleared by the system. Okay. And the reason for that is very clear, that between Dennis George and ourselves, we have entered into an agreement which mm -hmm. then states that we are not going to divulge the contents of that information. So for him to claim that he has been cleared is disingenuous and incorrect because if you are saying that you have been cleared, that simply means that you had gone through a process that actually did not find you guilty. So in this regard, it was not a matter that sat before the CCMA and uh, sat before the CCMA. There was an agreement which was entered into between the two parties. Therefore, that then tells you the story that uh, he, 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 he has not been cleared because 
there were no formal procedures that, you know, expressed between the two parties before the commissioner who then took a decision. It was the two parties that had agreed uh, through the, 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 the engagement of the CCMA, but the parties then agreed and went to a CCMA and said, this is the agreement that they have entered into. But that was the thing that I want to bring forth to your attention and the listeners in, in, in particular. Sure, sure. Let me then give uh, Mr. George an opportunity to uh, comment on part of what the Fiduso president has said. Look, the point is this, the terms of the settlement. I'm not going to talk about that. Mm -hmm. But the point is this. Why did Fiduso sign an agreement to settle the dispute if they feel I'm guilty of anything? He said I've... that that wasn't the matter before No, 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 the, but the point is this. The, the point is this. I was falsely accused by an unethical journalist from Amo Bagani, right, to say I've benefited from dividends, right, that I've enriched myself, you know, at the expense of the union. The unions was not aware about this particular deal. I've just explained to you that the statement for the IOCs, and they call it a pre-listing statement, any company that lists for the first time, they have to put these shares and the statement out at least about 30 days before the listing. Mm -hmm. And this con offer that was made was made to a consortium of trade unions because they felt they wanted to empower the workers and they also want to make the workers part of the success of the company. And I mean, I can tell you now sure. that uh, from outside, it was there to benefit FEDUSA or its affiliates. It was not for me because the terms of the agreement is very clear. It, I was just warehousing the shares. Okay, and I cannot get dividends because it is a non-beneficiary allocation. So, so Godfrey, let me bring you back into into the conversation. Then, do you accept that uh, what Dennis George says when he says he didn't benefit, at least not personally at all, uh, from any of the shares and transactions that were made in in, in relation to this matter? from the understanding of the organization that we, we cannot uh, confirm or deny what he's saying because uh, when he entered in the, into that, those transactions, we were not involved. We are not aware of those things. So it is what he is telling us that he did not benefit. Maybe the question that he must answer is, whose money was used to buy those shares? Because we have never given shares for him. I mean, um, funds for him to acquire those shares. Now, maybe the question that we can ask is to say, uh, whose money did he use to acquire those shares? And whose permission did he obtain to warehouse the shares? Because those are some of the questions that one would ask. Because as a federation, firstly, we did not give Dennis George any authority to go and purchase uh, IO technology solutions. Secondly, we did not permit to warehouse those shares, where he warehoused them in the as the sole shareholder. We are not even aware that he's owning a company called the Family Holding Company. So from that understanding, you'll then understand that uh, as a federation, we were totally not involved and, and in the that. Yes, he can indicate that his intention was to empower trade unions because trade unions were not... Uh, he has foreseen that they were not trying to make money. But by and large, the question is, who gave you the authority to purchase shares on behalf of the Federation? Sure. Godfrey, I'm going to ask you to hold it there and give Dennis then an opportunity to respond. Look, look I think the first thing that we must say is that the president of Fedusa is very disingenuous. Mm -hmm. Number one, I've said in the beginning of the interview, not one cent of Fedusa was used to buy the shares. If I use Fedusa's money to buy shares for their benefit, then I need their, their, their permission, right? If I make arrangements, right, to acquire a set of shares and weighing, warehousing those shares, it's got nothing to do with Fedusa, right? Because it's not their money. It's not none of their business, right? But you surely if you're doing it in the interest of the organization, they do have some not, right to not, know. Not the interest for the benefit, you see. Yes, but surely they have a right to no, no, know, no, given, the the, point, given the nature of the position that you occupied within the union no, no, itself. No, the, the offer must first be made to them.
before they can reject or accept it. And that would never happen. You see, because when they saw these things in the media, what was written by the um, unethical journalists, in my view, they jumped the gun. You see, they also appointed the people to investigate. I said to him, now, if I did anything wrong, go to the police. You see, I never used producer's money, right? And who pays for the sales? It's nothing to do with producer. Godfrey, do, do you take what Dennis George is saying, saying that you should have simply been happy then to be recipients of whatever the dividends may have been, whatever payouts may have been, and simply not asked questions because ultimately he was acting in the interest of the union? Well, I, 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 I think, uh, presenter, that uh, he is saying what suits him best, but the reality is, is that if you are going to acquire any asset, finance, whatever the case might be, you do that in the interest of the organization that you represent. And if you do that in the interest of the organization that you, you represent, surely you will go to the board of directors in case of board of directors. In our case, you have come to us as either MENCOM or the National Executive Committee and say, colleagues, here are the offers that they have got. And I believe this would benefit the organization. And for that reason, the organization should just, you know, discuss that and come up with a recommendation. And you would have then acted in the best interest of the organization. So I don't agree with him what he's saying because he is just trying to, you know, protect himself for what he has done. But, you know, the writing is on the wall. So given then that we will never know what the nature of the agreement between yourselves and Dennis George is, simply because of the legal clauses around th that agreement, what do you want Dennis George to then not do going forward? Because um, as you stated, you simply believe some of the interviews he's, he's been doing are misrepresenting the facts. Look, ma'am, we, we, we have been very clear and we wrote a community to Comrade George that he knows that what he's currently doing is not in the best interest of South Africa and, and the Federation in himself as well. Hence, we went on and say uh, the facts that he's putting forth are sexually incorrect and that he's in breach of his undertaking in the agreement reach uh, at the CCMA. And then the, we call on Dennis just to retract his statement as these are patently false and further in breach of the undertaking he has taken. And we further say that uh, in, 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 in good spirit, in compliance with the agreement reached, he should actually uh, know that we, 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 we are of the view that he continues giving false information because he knows very well uh, the agreement that was, was entered into. For an example... Sure, sure. Uh, I, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm quickly running out of time, so I'm going okay. to have to then give uh, Mr. George the last word on this. So mm -hmm. does this change the nature in which uh, you're going to be conducting interviews mm -hmm. going forward or even the extent to which you're going to say mm -hmm. you've been cleared of Look, wrongdoing? Number one, I've spent my life making Fedusa a household name in South Africa. Okay, number two, you know, that we've built up that organization. Even a few months ago, I recruited, together with my other colleagues, the PSA to join Pedusa. What the big issue is this, I will not run Pedusa down, say negative things at them, about them in the media, but they must leave me in peace. I don't want nothing to do with them. If Pedusa doesn't honor the agreement, I will disclose that agreement to the public. Then you will see the purpose of that. All right. Well, it certainly seems like there's no love lost there uh, between the former General Secretary of FEDUSA and the organization. We'll certainly keep watching to see how it unfolds.